Good morning everyone, I hope that you're all well. Today is Thursday the 14th, I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna confidently say yes, yes, of April. Um, I hope that you're, you've had a lovely week and uh, yeah, just another little studio vlog for you all. I was hoping to go out for a nice walk today because I sat in all day yesterday waiting for parcels to be collected. Um, only the parcels were not collected, so I have to wait in again this afternoon. So, quite frustrating. But I need to pop into town because uh, the birthday card that I got for my auntie got stuck in a drawer and got ripped, so I need to go buy another birthday card for her and I need to post it today because it's her birthday next week and I completely forgot that there's a ton of bank holidays. So there was me thinking that I was being very organised posting it today, but actually, tomorrow's a bank holiday, Saturday's a bit of a weird one, Sunday is a Sunday, no post on Sundays, and then Monday's a bank holiday and then her birthday's on Tuesday, so I kind of need to post it today. Well, I kind of needed to post it earlier this week, but posting it today. Um, other than that, I have in my, I've got a few orders that I need to pack and ship via UPS, but I need to wait for some cellophane bags to arrive. If they don't arrive um, until this afternoon, I'm not going to be able to send them today. So, fun. And then I need to, um, or I don't need to, but I'm going to do some bead weaving. I've written in my planner that I'm going to do, or uh, I'm going to do, finances I'm pointing at my laptop I was going to do my finances because I haven't done them in months and we're upon the next financial year <sighs> my voice went weird then but yeah we're in the next financial year so I need to sort out all of I think maybe December January February March beginning of April's finances that's on me I should have really done this sooner I am going to head into town I might go via the local uh, bakery, see if they have any hot cross buns, get some to try, because tomorrow is official hot cross bun day. And, um, you know, I'm married to a baker, therefore it's nice to test other people's baking to see if it's, um, you know, as good, or if Mario is better. I mean, Mario is always going to taste better, in my opinion, because I am biased. Um, other than that, I'm just going to do some bead weaving because I've got the Wool Monty to prep for. That's the yarn show in Sheffield that I'm doing on the 18th and 19th of June. So I need to prep for that. But yeah, I called the Royal Mail Collections team this morning um, about the fact that they didn't turn up yesterday. And I didn't kick off because I don't believe in kicking off because it's not the person on the phone's fault. And kicking off isn't going to get me anywhere. But they refunded me because I've got to pay to have these parcels collected. And I wanted them collected yesterday because then people in the UK would receive them today. But that's not happened. So now they'll probably not get them till Tuesday, which is very annoying. Anyway, um, hopefully they come today and because if they don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Fun. <laughs> Fun times. Because I called yesterday at quarter to six said hi my parcels haven't been collected and they said well we can't say that they've that it's been missed until after six I'm like I don't want them to say if it's been missed I just want to know if they're coming I'm like well we can't check that and then today the lady on the phone said oh there's a system it was a system error which I'm sure is just an excuse it's probably just I got missed um but like if it genuinely is a system error, they could have checked that yesterday, but she didn't want to because it was probably close to her clocking out time. Very frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining about that because it's not the person on the phone's fault. I just rush packaged them for no reason whatsoever. Ooh, I actually have an order that I need to package that I can put in with all the other ones. I'll go do that now while I remember. So thank you so much to Renee. She um, put an or, or messaged me yesterday and asked if this was still available because she saw it on. And I was like, yes, it is. And so she bought it, and now I can get it into the post today, which is good. Uh, so it's kind of good that it hasn't been collected. But we've got Rose Keep 
Unsteady Decay, uh, Force Gains, which is a sweater's quantity for some. Um, I don't think it's a sweater's quantity for me. And then we've got Moloch on Sparkle Sock. And so pretty. And so sparkly. And I love this colour. It doesn't sell that well though, but it could just be a seasonal thing. It might not be the right season for it. But like I say, I'm out of cellophane bags. So I'm packing it in a poly mailer inside of the paper bag that I ship in. I don't want the I don't want it getting wet, so it just made sense for me to just do this. And then I seal it with a sticker so it can be reused. And I've only had to do that on one other order because I actually had enough poly mailers. Uh, no, I actually had enough cellophane bags in the end, but like this. And now I'll seal it with a sticker. So I don't want to just ship it like that because if it gets a hole in it and then the yarn will get ruined. I think I used to just ship them like that, but yeah. In the before times. And I just stick a little sticker on it to say thank you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to put the tea in there. Peel it. Feel it and it peels very easily so Whoa! I tripped over my chair um yeah bag of tea blueberry and peach and um yes but I'm out of cellophane back so I had to get creative and so the bag is reusable then if you know if you've got anything to post but usually I have a nice cellophane bag so biodegradable well these are also biodegradable point I need a day up here where I just tidy because it looks like a bomb's hit it. Not helped by the fact that I have yarn strewn everywhere because I don't have any good storage for it because it doesn't all fit in there but yeah. Oh well such is life. folks um so i have just finished beading one pink sheep and realized so when i trim my threads i use a cuticle cutter listen they've never been used on my cuticles i did it once when i couldn't find a pair of scissors and found that it was the best thing for me to use to cut my threads so then i bought one specifically for bead weaving and now i can't find it so i've ordered a couple more and uh, they should be here in the next few days. I don't know when. Um, I ordered, ordered some other toiletry things whilst I was at it because I needed some more um, concealer and whatnot. And I was like, if I'm doing an order from Superdrug, may as well get the whole shebang. Because I've needed to replace it for a while because it is broken, but it worked still. So I trimmed this one with scissors and I can see a bit of thread in it and it's really annoying me. So I don't really know what to do about that. Um, cross that bridge when I come to it. I think what I'm going to do for the rest of them is bead weave them and leave all the ends on and not trim them off and then trim them off whenever my cuticle cutter arrives. And I'll just have a stock of um, stitch markers with thread attached to them still. And I can hear the bubs batting something around in the conservatory. So I'm gonna go see what they're up to. They were bapping around one of the markers that we use in D&D. <laughs> but yeah, it's really annoying because I don't know where it could be because it's always on the tray it's not on the tray so it's just 
not on the tray. I just went for my fifth look in the drawer that I keep all my beading stuff in case there was any chance I missed it. It's not there. It's not there. So, yeah, really annoying. Anyway, the cat's causing havoc in the conservatory because the sun is out. And they're knocking everything off everywhere. So I have to keep stopping. But I keep checking to see what they are doing. And that's on Miso being a tiny turd. Um, in the most delightful way, but she is one of those annoying cats that knocks everything off of tables and everything. I know it's a classic cat trait, but I, not all cats do it. And I had four cats growing up, not all at once. Uh, two lots of two. And um, I don't remember a cat ever just knocking stuff off the side. In the same way that Miso does. But, um, yes. Bless them. Uh, they're enjoying the sunshine in the conservatory because it is a bit sunny today. So they're laying in every patch of sunshine they can find and they follow it around the house. Um, but I think they've just woken up from a nap. So now they've got post-nap zoomies. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has shopped my recent updates. It has been, well they have been very well received and I'm a little shocked. Um, yeah. I packaged up over three days and I'm waiting for them to be collected today and I'm blown away at the response so thank you so much because I have way too much yarn in my house still um, but thank you for taking some of that yarn out of my house before I now have to start dyeing yarn for the wool Monty. It's like a constant cycle isn't it really. I also need to order yarn for advent calendars because I haven't done that yet um, last year, I did it before the end of the financial year, uh, so it will be in last year's finances, but I have not done that this year. Um, I talked a bit about it in my vlog uh, that I uploaded on Monday to Patreon, um, and about how last year I was really confident that I would sell all my advent calendars, and this year, it's not that I'm not as that I don't think I will sell them all, it's just that I'm not as confident so I don't want to take the plunge in ordering all the yarn. Um, but now I know that my first lot of advents has been as well received as it has been, then I can upload or I can um, purchase the, all the yarn for it before the next two rounds of sign-ups come out. You know? You know? Uh, I think it's part, I was very in my head last week and I think it's partly due to the fact that um, a lot of my friends in the industry have had Advents come out around the same time and they've all done very well and it just made me question myself and um, it's really silly because I am so glad that their Advents went really well for them and stuff so I was just very in my head last week but seem to be in a better headspace this week which is good because last Thursday and Friday I couldn't bring myself to do anything and I had over 100 orders to package so that went clearly very well uh, but I packaged them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week so it was fine it all worked out other than that I've just kind of been pootling along really I've been trying to get back into The Sims playing The Sims um, haven't been the most successful I got someone through university and then they joined the botanist career and then I was like did I, did I want them to be a botanist or did I just want them to be a florist? Did they even need to go to university and yes so I might start playing a different character and make them a florist and um, go that route instead because I haven't done the flower arranging thing that much in The Sims and I think it would be fun to do but I just haven't done it yet. I am making the most of the fact it's almost Easter and I'm drinking my Bird and Blend cream egg tea as you saw, uh, saw me make and um, oh, it's so tasty, it's such a tasty tea and I've got it in my vaguely springtime mug that needs a bit of a wash because it's a bit tea stained because I use it quite a lot. 
I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do about video for next week. My parents are coming up to visit and they're coming up Tuesday and they're going home I think the following Monday. Um, so it's quite a while and I don't know when I'm going to find time to film anything that week. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do about vlogs on here. Because if I have any filming time that will be for Patreon because they pay for the privilege. So I don't want to um, let them down. I mean, ooh, itchy nose. I don't want to let you down either, but if you're paying for a service, you expect the service, you know? So I need to think of something to do because they're here for, for two, unless I just upload something next Tuesday, that could also work, and just do a Tuesday. I'll chat to the patrons and see what they think. Um, the biscuit brew crew, should I say. I think I might cake up some yarn today and have a new cast on. I saw that Tracy of What Mustard Makes made, makes, made, What Mustard made, um, made the flat iron shawl by Tony TL Yarn Crafts, I believe. Anyway, um, they made it using four colours and it was a beautiful fade and she dyed all of the yarn and if you like neon colours please go check out their brand company uh, because she has gorgeous, gorgeous neons and um, but yeah so they posted that picture and it really uh, inspired me to actually do a crochet shawl. So while I was packaging up your orders on Monday I looked across all of the yarn and I thought hmm these four colours would make a nice fade so I've picked them out and I might cake them up and maybe start it today and what are you doing madam there's a small boy out there blowing a horn is that noise distressing you I don't know anymore uh, but yes so I need to cake up the yarn for that and I think I will and find out my crochet hook and actually start a crochet project because I think that would be really fun. I also noticed uh, at yesterday while I was packaging up the yarn club, this isn't so much a spoiler for the yarn club, but I noticed that um, three of the skeins from this year's yarn club so far make quite a nice fade. So if you've not used them yet, that's an option. You could put them together in a fade. It was an unintentional thing. Bub, why do you have a big fluffy tail? What's up? Oh my goodness, yesterday I was sat in this chair minding my own business. Watching the office, US office for the umpteenth time because Mary has not seen it all the way through so he's watching it and I've seen it all the way through many, many times. Now I was just sat here minding my own business and the cats were chasing each other and I was just trying to, you know, not engage. And then Kimchi like leapt up me to get up here and then Miso tried to follow but didn't quite get as much projection as her sister and just kind of her body landed at my face so yeah I have a nice scratch here I've got two here so that's nice I got my leg all from evening zoomies for god's sake I just went and blew out the candle and then came back and started to put my beading stuff away because I was like, it's actually really annoying that I don't have my um, cutting tool. Look what I've just found. It's the other side of the tray to the side that I'm sat on. On the table. And I just didn't see it. How annoying. But that does mean that now I'm not putting the beading stuff away. And that I can actually just keep bead weaving. And, ugh. So much better, but now I've got a cuticle cutter coming and I don't need it, but better to have too many than none. Um, and also, like I say, this one is broken. The plastic's chipped there, so I don't know how much longer it'll be around for. It's probably a lot blunter than it was. It's wibbly, but yes. Right, time to get back to it. So I just got very excited because the Royal Mail turned up. But turns out uh, they were dropping off the cellophane bags. It's now too late for me to do UPS because it's three o'clock. But I did also get another parcel. Um, Becky, my BFF, 
did a giveaway on her Patreon for those who are a member of her Patreon, and I am a member of her Patreon, and she texted me, and she was like, you're never gonna guess who won the giveaway. And I was like, what? I did. It was completely random, um, but it still feels like it was a fix. I mean, it wasn't, I know it wasn't a fix, because she wouldn't do that, but it feels so cheeky, but I never win anything, so it's very exciting. So I'm going to open this up and um, share with you what I won. Box of goodies! Box of goodies! Uh, Becky's recently moved to France, which is so exciting. So exciting! Um, I'm very excited to go and visit her because I haven't seen her since my wedding, um, which is now a really long time ago. So, so I got three and a bit skeins of this gorgeous yarn from Oyster and Pearl. It's a hundred percent. Targi, 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 uh, Columbia wool, hand dyed, it's worsted weight, and um, it's what is used in one of her jumper patterns, and I know some people will be able to get a jumper's worth out of it, so I need to have a look and see if I am one of those people, because um, I haven't actually checked, but there's three skeins of that, bloop, 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 and yeah, oyster and pearl, and it's in this gorgeous brown colour, and and it's um, non superwash and yeah, lovely stuff. Then there's also from the fawn and the fox, a really cute project bag with unicorns on it and little doggies. And it's so cute! And I don't know if this is yarn or quiton fur, but I'm not complaining either way. But yeah, I could put my new cast on in there when I eventually cake it up. It's a really cute bag, so thanks Becky! It feels so cheeky to have won. Um, it feels like a fix, even though I know it isn't a fix, so thanks Becky and um, I love you very much. Hey folks, me again. If I look a bit teary in the eyes, it's because I have done a tiny bit of crying. Not out of sadness, don't be concerned. Out of frustration. I'm a frustrated cry. I'm the kind of person that cries when I get angry. Luckily I don't get angry very often. I have some bubs trying to come up these days. I can hear it. They're trying the door, they'll work it out. Um, Two days in a row now, Royal Mail haven't come and collected my 98 parcels that I rushed to pack. Spent three days packing them this week. And I called up on Wednesday for them to be collected. So those of you in the UK, I pay first class. So those of you in the UK would have them by the Easter weekend. I dispatched all the orders on Wednesday because I was so confident that they were going to be collected. They were not. So then I called again this morning. And I explained, they apologised, they refunded the collection fee, they booked me on, I called at 20 past 5 uh, to explain that they still hadn't been collected. And they said, well, because, it, they, because it's, it's till 6, there's nothing they can do, they can come any time till 6. I'm like, okay. I tried to call them at 10 to 6. Um, that's not true, I tried to call them at 5 to 6, sorry. And they were like, our phone lines are very busy, and put me on hold. Um which is basically saying, oh, there's a cat. Um, we didn't really want to talk to you at five to six when I know what you're going to be calling to complain about. So, um, yeah, so I was on hold for five minutes and then um, it rang off um, because they said, the offices are now closed, please call when offices are open. So I'm gonna try and call tomorrow, but I don't know if offices are open because it's bank holiday. Um, and then I will, will be calling first thing on Saturday and I will be booking it in and I'm not, shirty with people on the phone as a general rule because I don't believe it's their fault um, but I might get a little bit shirty because I'm really frustrated and annoyed that they offer a service 
and then just like don't bother with it if that makes sense I don't know anyway I'm pissed and I know people are saying oh you could just go to the post office and blah 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 I used to just go to the post office and blah 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 but I don't want to have to take 98 parcels that I have bagged up they're in mail sacks they're ready to go I don't want to have to take them all to the post office and have them all sort them all out while I'm stood there waiting in the old post office I used to just dump a bag they used to scan it and then I used to go collect my bags and it was great if there were any discrepancies in cost they just used to like set the transaction aside I'd come in and pay it would be fantastic I don't want to have to hold up the post office on a Saturday morning nor do I want to um, have to be stood there there's a reason I pay for this service so I'm going to try again one final time and fingers crossed because there's a shipping date of Monday so I'm really sorry um, for letting you down and not getting them out in time even though I desperately tried this week and um, anyway on to bigger and better things. I've come up because I'm going to show you the fade that I found. I posted a picture of it on Instagram and I was toying between a couple of colours but I think this is what I'm going for. So Tracy did a four colour fade and I think I'm going to copy her and uh, I just seem to like the size of the, sh I mean it was only a picture they posted so I don't fully know if it was how big it actually looks on them but um, I'm not a small person so I, I quite like having a larger shawl. So these are the four skeins I'm going with. We've got Dust of Deliciousness here, we've got Spell Resistance here. Woo! I'll tell you what, let's hold these up sensibly. Okay. Whoop! Right, these are them. We have Dust of Deliciousness, Spell Resistance, Gift for Loth and Metagaming Pigeon. And I just think they weren't designed to be a fade, but I think they'll work quite well as a fade. The other option was to just do three colours and do these three. Whoop. But I think I'm going to do four and add in that purple skein. It's not going to be a perfect fade, but it will be quite nice. You're right there, bub. It will be quite nice. Um, and yeah, it will just be nice to, for something else to focus on instead of anger. I feel really bad for Mario because <laughs> he came in from work and I'd just been sat there because I've not been able to concentrate on bead weaving because I've just been sat there getting angrier and angrier about um, my parcels not being collected and then he got home at about half past five and I just kind of exploded at him um, like I wasn't actually angry with him and he knows I wasn't angry with him and blah 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 I wasn't shouting at him I was getting annoyed about the situation and uh, yeah I'm pissed so going to find out my five mil crochet hook. I'm going to cake this up and maybe this one too. I don't know. I might just do one at a time and I'm going to cast on because um, treat yourself. I went for this one. I love it. Um, and this is from Boop. Emerald. Is it Emerald something? Do -do -do -do. I have the thing in here. Emerald fibers. Uh, she's not making bags anymore, sadly. But I got this at Woolen when I went that time. So I love it. And I have another one as well, but that's got a load of minis in from my Granny Square Obsession Times. And I got my crochet hook ready. Time to pick up the bub and go downstairs. Because they're not allowed to be up here unsupervised for obvious reasons. There's lots of yarn everywhere. Hey folks. 
Uh, it's now much later in the evening, it's like quarter past nine. Um, I've calmed down a lot, which is good. I mean, I had to, there was nothing else that I could do. Just kind of had to succumb to the fact that I couldn't do anything right in that moment. Um, but it was very annoying and pretty sure that's the most angry that I've ever been about something in a very long time. So, it's, yeah, just one of those things. Um, at some point this evening, uh, excuse me madam, do you mind? I know, you've got neck freedom. At some point this evening, Miso jumped on top of the cupboard in the lean-to, her go-to place. At least we think she did. We heard, we were sat in the living room, we heard a clatter, so we went out and now Miso is without collar, so it must have got caught on something and has fallen off, uh, which is good because that's literally what they're designed to do. But now we need to try and find it because now she's a, you know, she's a bare-necked lady and she looks a bit weird with no collar on now after having one on for so long. But, um, they're, go they're going to start gently mewing at me soon because it's almost crunchy bit time. I've already tried to film this outro once, but then the camera battery flashed at me that it was dying. So I tried to talk quickly, and as I started talking quickly, the camera shut off and said, please change the battery. So I popped it on to charge for 45 minutes, and I just stood up to go get it. And um, Misa ran out to the kitchen thinking it was time. It's not time, bubs. It's not time. The time is... it. It's crunchy bit time when I go to bed, and I'm not going to bed right now. Because I'm talking to these lovely lots, so... Don't look at me like that. I know. I know. But they've stuck with me for this long, so the least I can do is talk to them a tiny piece more. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she does she did big stretch there, tiny one. Anyway, um I have cast on the flat iron shawl. This is it. I have my phone light, but I've got it diffused. So hopefully it won't be as bright. But um, boop. I just wanted to show this off. And it's really pretty. So this is my Dust of Deliciousness colourway. I only caked up one skein of yarn at a time. Because I don't think I've got space in this bag for many more. I also found this pin that my sister got me. This is Black Cat Club. Which is very cute. Because I have a black because I have a black cat. Um, so, yes. I'm going to try and call Royal Mail tomorrow, and then I will call them again on Saturday. Then I will continue to call until my parcels are collected, because this is not on. Very frustrating, but ultimately there's not a whole lot I can do about it, other than complain. Um, but yeah. At this point, I don't care if I have to pay extra to have them collected, I just want them out my house. So, it's been a bit of a stressful day. I haven't got as much done as I wanted to get done because I was worried about my parcels getting collected. Then they didn't get collected. I miss when I first had them collected from this house. They used to come at like quarter past 12 and it was amazing. Even though they were told to come between one and six, they would come at quarter past 12 and it was like, yes, I can now get on with the rest of my day because the parcels have gone. You know, the first time they came I missed it because I went out but from then on I stayed in and yeah anyway not much I can do about it other than complain about it so I'm going to try and move on and try and not be so grumpy about it I can't guarantee there's going to be a video next week uh, like I said earlier my parents are coming up to visit so I don't know how much filming time I'm going to get you know I don't know now this piece of crochet is bigger, I'm finding it much easier to crochet. Earlier when I filmed, I was um, talking about how I feel that I'm a bit clunkier with crochet. And I just filmed a reel of me crocheting. Uh, I was supposed to TikTok actually. And um, it looks much, I, well, I'm filming with my phone because I tuck my phone in the um, collar of my t-shirt. And I'm like this, trying to see what I'm doing while also not breathing too much and not moving too much. and. It's very awkward to do. Um, so yeah, of course it's a bit clunky. But now I'm a bit further into it, It's it, I'm getting a bit of a flow. It's getting a bit more natural. I feel like my um, tension has loosened slightly. And yeah, it's weird because I used to crochet so much more than I knit. 
Because my mum taught me to knit when I was little and she taught me to crochet because I found some crochet pants I wanted to do. I wanted to crochet myself a pencil case. I never finished it. Um, and also a bag. No, I wanted to, I knit myself a bag. All it needed doing was sewing together. I never finished it. Uh, but yeah, so I used to crochet a lot more than I knit. But I used to be doing more like amigurumi type things. Um, and then moved to Germany, got into knitting more. And lo and behold, I now knit more than I crochet. But I wanted to have some crochet samples. Because you don't see, make, I, you know what, it could just be me because I'm not in crochet circles. But you don't see a whole lot of crochet samples made out of hand-dyed yarn. They tend to be more commercial yarns. And um, I just wanted to have something that was made out of a hand-dyed yarn. Which is why when I saw Tracy's... Um, no, Tony's pattern that Tracy had made. Sorry, I got my nose mixed up. Um, I just knew it was something that I wanted to make as a show sample. So, thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me through today. And, um, yeah, it was a bit of a stressful day. So, I am quite tired. So, I probably won't be staying up super late, which is good news for the bubs. Because then they get their crunchy bits a little bit earlier. Ooh, centre pull, can you tell? Um, yes, if you'd like to follow me on social media, please feel free. Uh, links are all in the description box below, along with... I'm meant to be doing a decrease. Along with any other information that I think you might need. Um, for example, the tea that I drank today, there's a handy dandy link to that in the description box below. It is limited edition because it is Easter specific. Um, but I'll just pop a link to Bird and Blend in the description box so you can check that out. And um, also the tea infusers on there so you could get that if you wanted to. I just cut out quite a large yawn. <laughs> That's why my eyes are watering now. Um, social media, yes. If you'd like to leave me a comment down, down below, that would be absolutely lovely. What have you been up to? Do you have any great plans for the Easter weekend? It would be lovely to hear from you. And if you would um, like to give the video a thumbs up, that would be really lovely of you. I would truly appreciate it so, so much. It would be grand. It helps get my video out there a bit more. If you want to subscribe, please feel free. Uh, I post a video at least once a week. And then if you want to join the Patreon and be a member of the Biscuit Brew Crew, you get an extra video a week along with the occasional perk um, that I pop up here and there. So let me know. Or no, if you want to, sorry, I'll let you know. If you want to join, description box, everything's down there. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. It's been really nice spending the day with you. And um, hopefully next time we catch up will be less stressful and I will be 100 parcels down. They'll all be out my house. That's the hope. There's a cat sniffing the camera. Bye.